Hey guys, Andrew here, and thanks for joining me on a cool little unpacking video. We're on Royal Caribbean's Serenade of the Seas, and I wanted to take you through what I've packed for this trip. It is important to know that we are sailing through Alaska, so I am wearing shorts for our boarding day because out of Vancouver it's actually kind of warm, but it won't be where we're going. So, this is kind of all I've got, and this is how I packed for our trip. trusty away bag. So everywhere we go, we use our away bags. They just seem to be more durable. All right, so here's what I've got for this trip. So pretty much every trip I go on, I like to bring a little uh, day bag. So this is a nice, a tiny little, it's called One Trail. Um, I like it, it's got a bunch of little compartments I use for stuff that when we're out hiking or exploring cities or whatever, I can fill that stuff with camera equipment. Uh, water bottles, snacks, things like that that we're gonna use for the day. Don't have to bring a full backpack. Always got to travel with flip-flops. I've also packed a pair of my snowboarding mittens. These guys are ultra warm and they should come in handy if we hit any cold weather. Another item in my unique to this trip kit. Got a winter scarf. But I do have an extra pair of shorts. Um, you never know. The weather might be very, very favorable and I might be glad I brought those. And I've got a waterproof pair of pants so we do have some really cool excursion excursions planned uh including some hikes and things where we might get a little wet so these will hopefully come in handy then i've got three pairs of pants i have a pair of jeans i have a pair of gray dress pants and oh, they're kind of like khaki gray and then a pair of khakis so i'll be wearing rotating through those throughout the trip uh, then a bunch of socks so i've got some socks regular everyday socks couple of snowboarding socks that I brought, stay warm. Another pair of warm winter uh, socks. These are actually, I don't go anywhere without these. These guys are my compression socks from Bombas. Um, you'll notice too, I kind of stuff some wires for things randomly wherever I can find space when I'm done packing. Sometimes these just don't fit in my carry-on and I like to try to get as much stuff in my suitcase as I can. These, I'm not sure how they're gonna work out. So this is new to this trip too. Um, I realized when, when I was packing that I don't really have a whole lot of good hiking shoes. Um, so, Polly's dad found these online. They're basically silicon boots that you can wrap around your regular shoes with tread on the bottom that keep your shoes waterproof. Over here on this side, I've got my sleep shorts. So I sleep in little basketball shorts. You can't go anywhere, even Alaska, without a good bathing suit. And then I have, new to this trip too, a nice little rain jacket, which I'm excited to wear. It says new, and uh, I wanted to do something a little bit more festive, a little bright. I have a little gift for Holly that I'll give her right now. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it's nothing nuts. What if it's empty? Aww, those are so sweet. You like them? Yeah, Aww. they're so pretty. Thank you, baby. You can wear them to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Sorry, Woo! I forgot that I had packed that in my bag and Holly was behind the camera and I was sure she saw that. So. Looks a little suspicious. All right, back to the unpacking. So I've got some underwear in here. I try to stuff these in where I can. So you can never have too many pairs of underwear. I try to pack at least one for every day because you never know if you're going to get a chance mm -hmm. to do laundry. I've also got a pair of dress shoes. Inside though, they act as an extra storage. So I've got a belt. And then in this one, so these are things Holly found. <laughs> we have little bear bells. If you cruise a lot, you know, like I found out the hard way that formal night is actually formal night. You are not allowed in unless you have pants. Uh, I got stopped in one of our earlier cruises. I don't know if you remember that. And um, shoes, so I brought a pair so that I could make it to dinner. Got an extra belt here as well for my shorts. I've got probably about 10 t-shirts, which even in Alaska, I'll wear those under my other layers. Um, that was my strategy for this trip is to layer up. So I've got basically t-shirts, I have a fleece, I have uh, a rain jacket, and I have a puff jacket, which is in my uh, carry-on backpack. Then finally, we've got our tech bag. So, so we've got our little 
Pocket, the DJI Pocket that we use for a lot for B-roll because it's really good for that type of filming. Got uh, a Mavic Air, so DJI Mavic Air drone as well. And then we've got a couple of little uh, hookups like our uh, shotgun Rode mic. Throw that on top of our GoPros. You use this GoPro bag to carry. If we want, we can pack both of our GoPros in here. We have the eight and the 10, but I usually use it for a lot of the adapters, the battery chargers, some of the hookups, extra SD cards, that sort of thing. Um, and it fits nicely in this little case. Got a bunch of extra DJI Mavic Air batteries because it really only lasts about 15 minutes at full charge. And that's not very long when you're flying a drone and trying to get a shot several times. I did sneak in a couple of winter hats. Um, I put those in the technology bag because usually I have hard drives in here, but I decided not to bring those this trip and I wanted to fill that space somehow. So they work pretty well in that compartment. And then just a couple of extra charging cables for these things, um, battery docks and miscellaneous equipment. So that's everything that we've got for this trip. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any comments on things that you've brought to Alaska that worked well or didn't work well, and you wanna recommend those to people, let us know below. I'm excited to see it. I think I'm pretty well prepared. But I guess we'll find out. So. Anyway, thanks for joining and I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you out there.